Make sure you tap that bell so you never miss a video. What's going on ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. My name is Big Fry, shout out to everyone who has been watching the E3 coverage. I know I've been uploading a lot here the last couple of days, so if you guys haven't caught up on everything, make sure you do. I'm dropping videos on Division, Insurgency, this one is about Overkill's The Walking Dead. We got a chance to sit down with Overkill Software, the guys behind Payday 2. They're bringing that co-op experience to The Walking Dead universe. When you put those two together what you get is the walking dead meets left for dead you guys can see here i got some gameplay courtesy of their press kit this isn't my gameplay it's b-roll but what it is is a left for dead style four player cooperative game and at the surface it kind of reminds me of that game we covered a little while ago on early access called earthfall so it's got that where your teammates are highlighted you're moving through kind of a linear area you're killing zombies you're collecting stuff to open a gate or or power up a forklift to lift whatever the case is in this case, we were going through this housing district where we, we go upstairs and kind of loot there, kill zombies, kind of make our way through this this district of, of houses and backyards and garages. And eventually we end up in this compound where we had to fight a bunch of the bad guys. The, there's another faction that's kind of going through and collecting the resources that we need to get for our story. Now, they didn't really touch much on on the narrative. What they said is they have these four characters, they've worked really closely with Robert Kirkman and the Walking Dead writers to create something that can go along within the universe of Walking Dead, and what they said and what they're really proud of is that this is now canon in the Walking Dead universe. So, like, you have Walking Dead, Fear the Walking Dead, and you have this game. I don't know how story-driven this game is going to be, because if I think back to Left 4 Dead, there really wasn't a, a story. The, the gameplay is what shined there. This game, however, is rough. I played it. We, we had a, a group of people there. You, you can see that it's rough around the edges um there's some polish that needs to be done the optimization still needs just a little bit of work um but what i found was i'm a shooter guy and when we had to use melee it kind of throws it off because i'm not really a fan of melee in a lot of these games this game felt unbelievably good the melee is so responsive when you go up and swing it it, it feels just the way they have the slight delay on the hit and, and where it hits the animations are prime it feels good to just beat the shit out of zombies with a baseball bat usually i would just resort to pulling out the gun and just running through but i actually enjoyed the melee combat which is something that like i said it's very tough to nail and i feel like these guys did the game right now is coming out in november uh, it's going to be coming out for PlayStation, PC, Xbox, all the all the consoles. Now, if you guys have been on my channel for a long time, there was a game that I covered a long time ago. This was back in 2016 called Homefront The Revolution. Now, let's talk about the gunplay mechanics because I was trying to figure out what game I could compare it to when I was playing it. It has the hit markers. There's not a lot of recoil. The guns just feel... They feel... They feel really loose and not at all tweaked. Now, obviously, this stuff can change. This is a beta build. But it felt like I was playing Homefront The Revolution. And I tore into Homefront The Revolution. Obviously, that game came out, and it was terrible. We have a few months before this game's going to go out to the world. And what I hope is that they can kind of nail a better feel than that generic aim pull the trigger hit markers dead it just it, it, you'd have to feel it and i'm sure there's going to be betas i would hope that there's going to be a beta but you would have to feel it for yourself because it just feels it just feels generic like they didn't really tweak much they just have like a basic blueprint system for basic weapons and that's pretty much what it is but the melee combat is so good which is which is why i'm hoping that they can take that same amount of care and take that to the the shooting mechanics. And, th and then we have a game on our hands. And obviously, like I said, I have to see the narrative. Because to me, Walking Dead, 
you need to have at least a decent story. Do you guys remember what was that game called? Survival Instinct? That game was an absolute shit show. It launched for 60. I don't want another Walking Dead action shooter game like this to come out and be terrible. Payday and, and those guys at Overkill have a really good track record in terms of the gameplay themselves. Now, people have disagreed with how they handle some decisions through development. I'm not going to get into it, but I feel like these guys could do something really special here. We just have to wait and see. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comments. Is this something that you guys are looking forward to? Is it what you expected after all the, all of the teasers and the buildup of the hype? Is this the kind of game that you were hoping for? Let me know down below. My name is Big Fry. If you guys aren't subscribed to the channel, I do have a lot of E3 coverage left to do. I'm about to record my Just Cause 4 video. I have Skull and Bones and Assassin's Creed playtest tomorrow where I'm hoping to get gameplay for you guys. I'm not sure how Ubisoft is handling it, but stay tuned to the channel. We got a lot of stuff coming up. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you for the support, and I'll see you on the next one.